Pat love with Pat's two cents. You really want to serve God? You really want to be an earth shaker and a world mover? Do you really want to make a difference? Really, really, really? Are you sure? You may need to sit down and count the cost first. Because some of you can't handle a little rejection. But I want to say something to you. For those of you who have been always afraid to rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby. Don't tip the boat over. Listen, you have got to learn to ask God for the courage to speak the truth no matter what. Because when you don't, you acquiesce with the devil's program. Listen to this. Mm. I got to read this to you. A friend of mine sent me this via email. And when I read it, I it was like hats off to this woman. This is about Lauren Hill. Some of you may have already heard it. I'm on the late freight, so I'm going to share it anyway. Years ago, she did this. But I really am proud of this because this is something we as born-again Christians need to do more. But we are so busy trying to be politically correct that we are spiritually screwed. Listen to this. Mm. Wow. Soul singer Lauren Hill stunned Vatican officials at a Christmas concert by launching an attack on pedophile priests. Former Fuji star Hill, 28, said she accepted her invitation only so she could protest at child sex scandals in the United States. She told 7,000 crowd, I am sorry if I'm about to offend some of you. I did not accept my invitation to celebrate with you the birth of Christ. Instead, I ask you why you are not in mourning for him. In this place. I want to ask you what have you got to say about the lives you have broken? What about the families who were expecting God and instead were cheated by the devil? Who feels sorry for them? The men, women, and children damaged psychologically, emotionally, and mentally by the sexual perversions and abuse carried out by the people they believed in. Holy God is a witness to the corruption of your leadership, of the exploitation and abuses, which are the minimum that can be said for the clergy. There is no acceptable excuse to defend the church. There was silence for several minutes from the audience in the Paul VI Hall at the Vatican, as many of them could not speak English. There were cries of enough and shame from those who understood, while one or two whistled and jeered before she picked up her guitar and sang. After her performance, her comments were translated for the Cardinal Camillo Ruini, head of the Italian Bishops' Conference, who was sitting in the front row, and he walked out in protest. No one at the Vatican would comment yesterday on Hill's outburst, but Monsignor Rino Fisicello, one of the organizers of traditional concerts, said, it was in poor taste and very bad-mannered. It showed a complete lack of respect for her invitation and for the place where she had been invited to perform. Pat's two cents. Lack of respect. Really? While y'all been jacking up people all their lives from childhood up. You got to be kidding me. Moving right along. <laughs> wow. Oh, 
Pope John, excuse me, let me see. Let me see. Let me make sure I'm reading this right. Oh, however, I am not going to respond with insults to insult. It's a shame that it happened. Oh, give me a break. Okay, let me move on. Pope John Paul II was not at the event, but had earlier met the artist and a special with a special greeting from him was played during the performance. Hill flew back to New York last night, unrepentant. She said, what I said was the truth. Is telling the truth bad matters? Mm, mm, mm. What I asked was the church to repent for what had happened. Wow. I take my hat off to anyone who speaks the truth in love and with boldness, not shrinking back. She could have ruined her career, but she did what she had to do. How many of you have passed up the opportunity to speak up? How many of you have members of your family you know are abusing children, you know have raped members in your family, and you all go hush, hush, and keep it on the down low? Mm. 